Thanks, Maria. According to Business Insider, 39 Regal Cinemas will close across the country. That's after its parent company, Cineworld, filed for bankruptcy. Here in western New York, it means both the Regal Theaters on Elmwood in North Buffalo and the one on Transit in Williamsville will soon close their doors for good. Both still have showtimes through at least the 26th, though it's not exactly clear when each of them will have their last day of business. Now, I reached out to Regal about it, but I haven't heard back yet. Regal had closed a dozen other theaters prior to filing for bankruptcy. Business Insider reports the company just can't seem to rebound from the pandemic. Prior to COVID, the U.S. box office was taking in more than $11 billion. That's down to about $7.4 billion. According to Business Insider, filing for bankruptcy will allow Cineworld to get out of leases without major penalties, and it'll help the company to save about $22 million a year. I spoke to some moviegoers headed to the Regal Theaters expecting to close. Here's what they had to say. There is two things. One is you can obviously watch this movie from Amazon Prime. You pay the money and then you watch the movie. But then watching movie in a theater is something little different. You feel the vibe. Sitting with the popcorn, the number of people. Obviously, we don't get that things at our home. No doubt on that. Watching movie in theater is really enjoyable and it's awesome. And I'm really sorry for that, that if they really shut down this place, we'll be missing that. I feel like now we might be home because the far out drive is going to be way too long. Unless they were like in the area or doing something as like an activity with somebody. I also spoke with a film industry expert today who says there's a lot more to this than the rise in streaming services, which are also facing issues of their own. He also told me this could just be Regal using a negotiating tactic to get t landlords to lower the rent. I'll have much more of his insight coming up at 530 in the town hall. Danielle Church, Channel 2 News.